Welcome back everyone. You may be in a situation where for some reason your Xbox One controller is just not connecting to your Xbox system. Now there's a couple ways to fix this, but the easiest way I fix this time and time again is to grab a micro USB wire, which is, you know, the charging port on the back of the Xbox controller and plug it into the front of your Xbox. Now this is without a doubt the thing that's helped me the fastest, it's the thing that's helped me out the most. Whenever I have any Xbox One, whether it's the One, the One S, or the One X, I've always been able to connect it straight to my controller, literally just by plugging it into the front of the controller on one side with the wire and then plugging in the opposite side on the wire as well. Time and time again, this is the way that it's fixed it for me and it's probably going to be the way it's going to fix it for you as well. Now, if for some reason that doesn't work, you wanna make sure that the Xbox One controller even turns on in the first place because if it's a faulty or broken controller, then it doesn't matter what you do because it may not even work no matter what you do with it. So what you wanna do is you wanna grab a charger cord, just like we mentioned before, and you wanna plug it into the, either the Xbox or or any other power directory source and you want to hold down that xbox one button on the front of the controller now what's going to happen is is that it's literally just going to go ahead and blink on your controller it's just going to start blinking out of nowhere and what you want to do is make sure that that controller is able to turn on by holding down that specific xbox button if you're able to turn it on then you're pretty much good to go and you can probably go ahead and try connecting it to your xbox one controller and your xbox one now if that doesn't work like i mentioned before and your xbox controller is not turning on then you're going to have to go ahead and either try a different controller try a different wire and see what happens there because if your controller is not turning on then it doesn't matter what you do because it's not going to work no matter what now some other things you can do is try some different batteries if your controller still isn't working or maybe it's only working when it's plugged in you want to go ahead and either buy some different batteries or get a rechargeable battery set for your xbox controller that's another awesome thing you can do and these are the main ways that you can go ahead and pretty much fix up your your specific controller if for some reason it's not connecting to your xbox if you guys have any other questions or anything let me know in the comment section below hit the like button that would mean so much but definitely hit that subscribe button more importantly than everything i'll sell up every single one of you guys hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out till then